Hi, I'm Tim Brown. Uh, today we're looking at the Via Open Book. We've got a pre-production sample here that uh, we've ripped apart to show you the insides of. Basically, look, opening up the Open Book even further so you can understand a little bit more about how the product works. So inside the Open Book is, of course, a very customized uh, motherboard per se. This is actually where the Via C7M processor and the VX800 chipset reside. One of the big things that we've been touting about the Via Open Book is that it has modular connectivity, meaning that it's very easy for people to make HSDPA, EVDO, WCDMA, WiMAX connectivity, as well as Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, and assisted GPS connection modules into the device. So what we're going to do is take a little closer look about how that actually all works. So we rip off this last panel here for you to be able to get a look at the actual insides of the VIA open book. And from what you can see here, where the uh, slots for the modularity are, is two 56-pin USB connectors for the PCI mini cards. Now in this particular slot here, we've got a full-size space for a mini card such as this one, which is an HSDPA mini card, which just pops in just like so. And then there's two screws here that get connected to make sure that it stays in place. On the other side over here, we've got the same thing again with the same connector, but this time it's a half-size mini card, PCI mini card, and this one includes Wi-Fi and Bluetooth on board, but could also include AGPS, so depending on what configuration the manufacturer decides to put together for his market. So as you can see, both of those just slide into those connections and are uh, screwed into place to actually provide all the connectivity for the VIA Open Book. Now, this particular type of connection has not been a complete standard yet, but it was probably going to be a standard in 2009. And I think the important thing is you can see how quickly and how easy it is for our customers, the manufacturers, to decide how to configure the devices. So they can very easily choose the options that they want to have available to their customers. For instance, with an HSDPA module, their customers can connect to a cellular network, which means they don't need to be at a Starbucks or, a, or any place where there's a Wi-Fi hotspot. Anywhere where there's cellular phone connectivity and they have a data plan, they'll be able to access uh, the internet with the VIA open book. Perhaps there's some customers who that isn't necessarily a requirement and they're looking for a slightly uh, uh, more inexpensive device. The manufacturer can decide to not include that module but include maybe the Wi-Fi module with the Bluetooth that should come standard with the product. If they would like to include the AGPS, they just simply replace that module with one that also has an AGPS uh, chip on board. So I hope opening up the VIA open book gave you a little bit better of an idea about VIA's open approach to modularity and connectivity for the mini note market.